Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm pretty excited because we're going to do another art video. Yay. So as you guys saw, my shop is up again. Yay. And I am going to show you guys another little illustration that I did for one of the artworks that are there. So if you guys like this video and you like the artwork, you can actually get it. So this is my adorably cute sticker. I hope you guys can see it. I'm trying to be a vlogger girl. Here. <laughs> and this is for my plant lover collection. And along with this really big sticker, you could also get a mini version. I did two versions. I decided to do two versions because sometimes we want a mini one so we can put in our journals. And sometimes we also want a big one to put in our journals. So I decided to make two versions of them, a big one and a mini one. You can get them now on my store. The link is in the description. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for all the support. Please don't forget to do all the YouTube -y thingies and let us get into this. Hello, hello. Voiceover Becker here, and we are starting with this adorable illustration. I am actually very excited to be showing you guys this because I had a fun time working on all of this happy, bright, summery, vibing illustrations, and this turned out to be a very adorable and very pretty illustration that I did and it turned into a sticker. Um, this is not the original um, design that I had in mind first. She did not really have um, the bees, if I'm mistaken. And it turned out like this because I really, I was really in this warm, fuzzy feeling and I wanted to do a really fun and pretty shop update. So I decided to work on plants. <laughs> I am a plant person myself. I am plant mom. So I decided to do plants. Um, this one, I really went with the vibe of, you know, like waking up and smelling the flowers, you know, just relaxing and just taking in the sun through like the daisies. Um, I also, in the beginning, I really wasn't going to make them daisies. I was actually going to do something else. It was actually supposed to be roses, but I decided to change that because I just really didn't think it would be that great if it was roses, <laughs> especially since um, it, it, it wouldn't have turned out like the way my red espresso did and those were like roses and i really enjoy doing that and i did do some changes to this one that i didn't do to the other one which is if i'm not mistaken i did not add bees on the other sticker that i did and on this one i did because i was just inspired by the bees and that is one of the reasons why i chose the bee theme for my July bullet journal and it is still one of my favorite themes up to date and it was just fun to just sit down and draw some bees it was really fun it was cute it was adorable even though I'm recording this in August but just going back and seeing all the cute bees I love it <laughs> I just I love it but either way just drawing this little pot plant and putting the daisies um i the only thing i did with the daisies was i did i hadn't decided which colors that i wanted to put on the daisies because there aren't only white daisies and when i found out about that i was like wait there are other color daisies and there are there are pink if i'm not mistaken purple the blue ones that i normally put but they're like these reddish ones but no I, no, I think the reddish ones are the pink ones and I just loved all of them and there were shades of like 
white ones that has like these little um, yellow orangey gradients on them and it was just so pretty it's something that i did do to my pug sticker where he has like this little crown of daisies and i actually add all the little daisy colors on top so i was really into daisies and for this one i did decide to do it into blue daisies because they are definitely my favorite colors of daisy so far when it comes to these little bees i did mirror them because i like them so much i didn't really see the point of me not mirroring them and just going crazy um as you guys can see i have used flat colors before and on this time you guys i show up there in the left hand corner um, the little color thumbnail that I did for this illustration, I chose the colors beforehand to make my life easier and I suggest you guys do that as well. Just choosing your colors beforehand, you can choose it via a quality, uh, color swatch from maybe even Adobe Color um, where you can type out something you guys really like, like maybe... Um, um, for one of my illustrations, I wanted gold butterflies. I just wrote gold and butterflies and it gave me so much options to literally look up colors so I could get inspired to just make the colors that I wanted and just simplify my life knowing what I wanted to do with the colors. Um, I did add a little background to this illustration because I thought that it was lacking for the, even though it is a little sticker design, I still thought that it was lacking just her and the bees just like floating around wouldn't really make, it wouldn't look pretty, it wouldn't be what I actually envisioned it in the first place, so I did decide to add this little background um i do change the color because this is just like a flat layer that i normally use and i just clip the mask of all the colors that i use on top of the flat layer and then i use lock transparent layers which is a lifesaver because everything that you did on that layer because it's clipped to my flat layer the colors that you add there will not go into like will not leave that flat layer design that you made so it will be locked there but you have to choose the colors beforehand you have to clean it beforehand that's what i do i clean it and then after everything is cleaned i see that there I haven't like made a mistake because sometimes the mistake I make is actually on the flat layer that I forgot to color a little space that does happen so you just have to check that beforehand and then you just click on lock transparent layer and you're done you're literally done and it's just it just works wonders here I am using my a brush that I designed. It is this adorable little brown brush that I made. I also have a squared one and it has just a little bit of, it, I wouldn't say a pattern, it just has some texture to it where it helps give, like, make backgrounds, um, objects, uh, clothes pop out and it just gives more life to it like here you can see like it's zoomed in and you can literally see that there is texture to the shirt it's not just the green color it's like the darker shades on top of it there are textures to it i normally do that to the bees as well um in one of the illustrations that i did i did add that little flat i did use i oh my god i used the same brush to add some texture to it. I don't know. I, look, I've been trying to do this 
since yesterday like today's sunday and i've been trying to do this since yesterday and this audio just did not want to go <laughs> so bear with me please so as i was saying i just the, use this brush when it comes to her clothes well no i'm lying when it comes to her skin i do not like to use that brush i use the normal airbrush that we get in photoshop the normal round brush that's the one i use to do the shading to do everything to blend the skin out to do everything on the skin that's the brush i use because i do not like to have textured skin <laughs> um makeup as well i use the exact same brush that I use on the skin because I like my makeup to look flawless in real life so I want it to be flawless as well on my characters. The same thing with the flowers now I am using my textured brush because it does give it more life. It looks pretty and it does also have like this airbrush effect to it and it just doesn't like just take over you can still see that there's a lot of yellow even though i did add like this red tone and then it just blended well and turned into a little bit of an orangey color which i loved very much and it just vibed perfectly with these little blue daisies that's something that i really enjoy doing is just going with the flow and seeing how this illustration takes me. So sometimes you don't know when to stop. If you don't know when to stop, it's because you're not done with the illustration because I've actually seen that when I don't know what else to do, it means I'm done. Like I've did everything that I could. I just go and I see if I made any mistakes, if I need to do any over paintings that is simply it and here i am finally working on the skin why because i like to work on everything else nowadays before i work on the skin so i know if there's going to be shadows why i'm adding my shadows there do i get my shadows wrong sometimes yeah i'm human you know it it goes you can have a reference picture to help you to guide you I don't really like using reference pictures that much when it comes to shadows. I think I like to learn them, like, that's the reason I like to sketch. The sketching, I add, I do copy from the reference, of course, because I'm learning. I'm doing everything to learn from my reference photos when I sketch. So that is where I'm learning from. Do I need to change up shadows learn a bit more yes but you will learn that the more you sketch so don't go too crazy on that unless you want to do like concept art and a whole more like another level of professionalism in your artwork then you have to learn all of that but besides that, I'm just going to do the hair. This time I took a different approach with this, the hair. Since the hair was already really dark and I really like this brown that I used, this maroon that I put on her hair, it's just so, so good. Um, I used more of the light colors and afterwards I used a darker color just to emphasize and give the hair a little bit more depth that's literally what I did here because her hair was already dark enough and like adding too much would just be a bit weird because she is in an open area for me in my head she's in an open area and she's just picking up her little flowers but that doesn't mean we don't have shadows and you can always change up and fix some things later on but that's pretty much the things I did here Now I got my squared brush 
and I'm adding some colors to the background. Um, I decided to make it a little bit more greeny, yellowy, because in my head she was probably maybe in a greenhouse, you know, that has like a lot of, because there are different kinds of greenhouses, but I imagined her in like in a greenhouse with just windows everywhere and it's just warm and vibrant and to give some even more depth depth to the character i added some little redness to her to make her pop out a little from this and this is the illustration and i hope you guys enjoy this hey guys and we are back i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i am actually pretty excited to be back i am also currently working on the book girly collection and i've done the stickers i am currently deciding if i'm going to make bookmarks which i'm probably going to make bookmarks because there are some stickers that i i'm definitely going to turn them into bookmarks because they deserve to be not only in our bullet journals, but also marking our books. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, as I said, because I'm actually pretty excited to go and get things done. So I will see you guys next week for more. Thank you so, so much. And please don't forget to do all the cute, adorable, cute little youtube -y thingies. And thank you guys for all your support. And have a great day week, month, year, whenever you're watching this. Hope you guys are great. Bye!